hello everyone and welcome to today's video i hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to if you're new around here hello my name is Gemma. thank you so much for stopping by we are in full swing with the autumn content i even have a bit of a cold which is very autumn winter isn't it so bear with me i have just finished a gingerbread like cappuccino thing i bought some gingerbread capsules from tesco and i'm feeling very autumnal got a few pieces to show you that are new in my wardrobe i've been doing these collective hauls quite a bit recently and you seem to be enjoying them so we've got and other stories zara and a little surprise you're gonna have to wait and see what that is everything will be linked down below for you so if you see anything in this haul that you like that's where you need to head. I should probably say as well what I'm wearing. This jumper is very oversized. This is actually a size medium large. It is one size bigger than I wanted, but this is the only size I had left in Primark and beggars cannot be choosers. But it's such a gorgeous shade of pink. I actually picked this up from my local Primark, which is Tooting Broadway. And these jeans are and other stories i will link them down below because if you saw my capsule wardrobe items video then you'll know that i love these they're amazing so yeah links will be down below for that as well but let's get straight into the video guys i really hope you enjoy it so kicking off with some basics i picked up three t-shirts if i like it i'll just buy it in every color these ones are all from and other stories i really rate their t-shirts to be honest i think they're great basics so these are 19 pounds which i'd say is pretty mid-range i am actually looking for a thicker more heavyweight t-shirt so the hunt continues i think i might go to uniqlo but these ones are just great everyday basics so this white one as you can see is quite an oversized fit I got this one in a small and there's no need to size up. As you can see, it is quite oversized, but that's how I like my t-shirts. This is what it looks like on, I mean, just tucked into jeans and then layered with a blazer over the top is the perfect outfit for autumn. You can't go wrong with a white tee. It is the fundamental building block for your capsule wardrobe all year round and I needed a new one because white does tend to get a bit grubby. Even when I get the vanish out, I just can't keep them white 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 and then i got the exact same t-shirt in black you can't go wrong with a black t-shirt i do tend to wear my black t-shirts more in the autumn winter months if i'm honest in my opinion this is a absolute must for your capsule wardrobe this is what it looks like on again it is exactly the same as the white it is an oversized fit so if you don't like an oversized tee then probably just like skip this video <laughs> I personally love this style on me. I love the way it fits. It looks great tucked into jeans with your photo of the trousers, layered with your favourite blazer over the top. It is a great layering piece and, in my opinion, an absolute must for your capsule wardrobe. And then I got the exact same version in this striped. I really like the material of these. They're 100% cotton, great layering pieces. Again, just love the boxy fit of this. I can tuck them into skirts, jeans, faux leather trousers. This layered underneath a camel blazer, such a nice outfit. Very simple, but simple is effective. I know not everyone will agree with this, but I do personally think that a striped tee really has its place in your capsule wardrobe. This is what it looks like on. I know that I'm just going to be getting so much wear out of this t-shirt over the next few weeks and months. I mean, the weather in London, at least, is all over the place. It's great just to layer under a blazer for the in-between weather. And then when it gets really cold, you can layer like a jumper or a coat, something like that. So these are all £19. I would 100% recommend if you're looking for a new t-shirt to add to your wardrobe for autumn. From Zara, I picked up this gorgeous dress. It actually still smells of Baccarat Rouge because I wore it on a night out. I mean, it's giving Space Cadet, but I am here for it. So yeah, this one is from Zara. I got it in a size small, I think. I wore this on a night out a couple of weeks ago, but I also think that this is gonna be a dress that I reach for very, very heavily, dare I say, the party season. It's just because it's so like fun and out there, I feel like you really just 
don't need to accessorize this. I think, well, actually, I did wear silver heels with this, so I went all out with metallics. Metallics are a huge trend for this season. I'm seeing metallics everywhere in all forms, shoes, trousers, jackets, dresses, and I just think this is a really fun one for the party season, and you know that I am really taking my capsule wardrobe very seriously, but I do love to throw in the odd trend piece here, and yeah, this is what this one looks like on, I just think it's really fun, I love the back detail, it's also adjustable, so obviously if you've got smaller boobs or bigger boobs like myself, then you can play around with the back, but I love this and I got loads of compliments when I wore it and that is a good indicator of a nice outfit or a nice dress. I do appreciate that's not gonna be for everybody because it is giving I am a turkey about to be put in the oven, but I just think it's fun. So yeah, we're gonna roll with that. Another wardrobe staple that I picked up is this faux leather skirt. So H&M always advertise these skirts as, as vegan leather. I mean, it's just faux leather. Like I don't understand why they say vegan but anywho this was 18.99 which i think is an absolute steal i did actually bring this as an option to wear on a night out and my friend tiff was like i have that exact skirt from reese and i was like no this isn't from reese this is from h&m and she was like uh okay i could have saved myself some money i honestly thought that they had priced this incorrectly it's such good quality so it's like a crackled faux leather it's got these like seams going down the front zip fastening on the back and it is fully lined so i picked this one up from my favorite h&m in brixton you know it and i know i'm gonna get so much wear out of this i did actually size up to a 10 in this one because the eight honestly wasn't even going past my bum and at the right page of 32 we need to think about modesty um so this is what it looks like on i think with a 15 20 denier tight jumper tucked in so nice and my little loafers or knee-high boots ankle boots but also i'll wear this so much on like nights out in the next few months as well so i know i'm gonna get so much wear out of this i mean the cost per wear ratio it's gonna be like a penny per wear <laughs> that's insane i really was having a bit of a ross from friends moment i feel with the faux leather pieces i fell in love with this when i saw it on the zara website so it's a faux leather waistcoat i feel like waistcoats really came into their own this spring summer and they're not going anywhere i feel like they're a great top option for work i'd also wear this on a night out i've worn it in the day well not this one but a different waistcoat with like a tailored trouser and trainers like a really kind of smart casual vibe let's not even talk about the zara sizing because it blows my mind but when you go on the app it gives you a recommendation of what zara thinks your size is and they said medium and i was thinking okay let me add the medium because i have a waistcoat in a small and it's really tight on my boobs and i actually prefer a looser fit than a tighter fit in a waistcoat that's just personal preference so i ordered the medium it was huge so I had to exchange it, I actually went to store to exchange it. This is an extra small. Make it make sense because these are not an extra small. I can tell you that much for free, so God knows. But I love this. I could actually do a full faux leather on leather look. I mean, I haven't tried it, but I think for a night out look, that actually could be a vibe. I have every intention of wearing this with like tailored trousers, and maybe layered with a blazer over the top or i don't know like a indigo colored jean and a pair of heels for a more sophisticated like well not date night because <laughs> i'm not going on those but like dinner and drinks for the girls something like that vibey so 32.99 amazing quality it feels like such a buttery soft faux leather it's got these buttons on the front here fully lined that's what it looks like from the back this is what it looks like on i just think it's so chic it's so it's a little bit different to jeans and a nice top but i really like it and there's lots of ways that i can wear this like i said casually in the day but i can also dress it up i can think of at least five ways to wear an item i can justify the purchase so yeah right we've got a pair of jeans and you guys know i take my jeans very seriously because jeans can be a real trial and error and once you find a pair that works for you 
buy them in every color these jeans are an exact version of the ones i'm wearing today obviously these are a light wash denim which i find i wear all year round but they're more of like a spring summer jean if i'm honest and these ones are going to just fit seamlessly into my wardrobe and go with so many outfit so they are a slim straight leg that is how i would describe this cut of jean they look amazing with sock boots with loafers with trainers they fit like a glove this is what they look like on i love the indigo wash i think that you can definitely dress these up because they're a little bit darker so i can wear these in the day but also on a night out um, I don't know if you have seen that Zara top that I have. It's like satin, high neck, open back and ties at the back. Even just with these jeans and a pair of black heels, such a nice outfit for like dinner, dinner and drinks, a night out, uh, pair like a belt with it, elevate the outfit, so, so nice. So I got these ones in a EUR27 leg 30. Weirdly, I am five, seven and a half in flats. Obviously in heels, I am a lot taller. And I wear a 30 leg in these. Usually I do wear a 32 leg, but they fit me perfectly. Like, do bear that in mind, obviously, after you've seen them on. But I am obsessed with these. So I have them in this indigo shade of denim, this light wash denim, which I think forever will be my most worn pair of jeans. And I also have them in like an off-white ecru colour. And I could not recommend these enough, guys. Honestly, favourite jeans. And that is a huge statement <laughs> okay guys i did say to myself no more knitwear Gemma. no more knitwear and what happened <laughs> another mock neck jumper i think i have this in five colors and that is not even exaggeration but i did mention in my autumn capsule wardrobe video i'll link it on the screen if you missed it that this jumper like you have to add this to your autumn winter wardrobes because it's the perfect jumper in my opinion the shape the cut the fabric like it's so soft i can't wear mohair i wish i could because all the jumpers that i seem to love are mohair but my my skin is just far too sensitive honestly this is so soft it keeps you so warm i do think and other stories have been a little bit cheeky though because this jumper is a very popular style. It sells out every year, so if you do like it, be quick. It comes in about 20 different colorways, no exaggeration. They used to be 39 pounds, they've gone up to 45. Still, I would pay 45 for this because the quality is amazing, but look at the color, guys. It's giving toffee nut latte. Obsessed. This is what it looks like on with these gorgeous trousers, which I'll talk to you about in a second. I love this outfit it is giving ice cream i love neutrals for autumn i know some people think neutrals are a bit boring but i feel like you can't really go wrong i mean just look at that that color combo like beautiful got this jumper in a small i would say just stick true to size in this one i did size up in one colorway that i have and mm, i wouldn't necessarily recommend it because you can tuck these in just the perfect fit like yeah <laughs> what more can i say these are the trousers that i paired with that jumper i do have a pair of neutral trousers but they are well i've got more summery ones so silk linen and i wanted a thicker neutral pair of trousers to add to my autumn winter wardrobe because i still do want to wear a neutral trouser in the colder months i have these already in black and they are the perfect pair of tailored trousers and what i like about these they're definitely an autumn winter trouser because they are like a thicker material these are a great one for just an everyday smart trouser perfect for work i think they come in black and also grey um i would 100 percent recommend these so i've got these in a 36 which is a uk 8 i would say just stick true to size in these ones obviously this is what they look like on they are honestly the perfect pair of trousers in all colors i have them in black like i said and i wear them to death and the quality honestly it it they speak for themselves i would always advise spending a little bit more money on a tailored trouser to get the quality you could go to h&m and sometimes you do get a really good pair but from personal experience i found that they're they just feel a little bit like crepey whereas these with this jumper 
I just wish that you could feel them because the quality is unreal. They've got little faux pockets on the back, also belt loopholes here so you could elevate them with a belt, a tan belt, a black belt. Love. Cannot rave about these enough. And the last piece that I have to share with you is actually, you're not going to believe, from Sainsbury's. <laughs> Go on, Sainos. <laughs> it is a Zara dupe. And I know I don't necessarily need this because I do have one from River Island that I shared in my last video. I'll link it on the screen here. And it's pretty much identical, except this one is definitely more of like a woolen material. Like, can you see that? But I am actually working with Sainsbury's on some content. And this was something that I picked for the content. I am blown away by the quality of this. So it's two for Sainsbury's and this is unreal. So not only is the quality amazing, I can't really compare it to the Zara one because I never actually got my hands on that one last year. But I think from like photos that I've seen, it's pretty much identical. The color is gorgeous. It's like that really rich charcoal gray and it's fully lined. And yeah, it's got this like elasticated bit at the bottom, pockets that I need to unstitch, but obsessed with this. And it was £40, which I think for the quality, like this in Zara was like, was it 70 And I think it's probably just as good, if not better. This is what it looks like on. It's unreal. The one thing I will say is I... Uh, I had to get this in a size 12 because that was the smallest size they had at the time and I thought it was going to be massive but actually I think this might come up small because I love the fit of it here on me and I think there's so many ways I can wear this. I could throw it over leggings, I could wear it with jeans, I could wear it with a skirt and knee high boots, like it's such a nice layering piece for autumn especially this real like transitional period where one minute it's cold and then the next minute it's hot so yeah i would advise heading to your local sanos if you can to pick this up because blown away by the quality of this like unreal i really really hope that you have enjoyed today's video if you made it to the end comment with pink because i'm obsessed with this jumper love a pop of color for autumn and i'm really cozy despite i don't feel so cozy with this cold that's going on but we move but thank you so much for watching guys and if you are new around here i'd absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button check me out on instagram as well i'll leave my handle on the screen because i do lots of styling reels and things like that i am making it my priority to film my capsule wardrobe accessories video i know i promised that from my autumn capsule video that i posted so the next one will be accessories so definitely come back for that and i hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to thank you so much for watching guys bye